Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, we're going to be going over Uprising by Muse, and you can get the selection of sheet music at OnlineDrummer.com. We'll be using the free uh, snippet from the full sheet music by Steve Lee, and you can also get the full sheet music at OnlineDrummer.com. Chart topping drum beats and chart topping drum fills is still available. You can get these as an ebook instant download as well, and both have video courses that uh, go along with them. Also, a special note, we just updated or upgraded our shopping experience online. The goal was to make it as easy as possible to gain access to your downloads right away and also to have a place to come back to should you change computers and need to download again. If you're an email subscriber to our newsletter, you got an uh, email yesterday explaining it along with a promo code. We want you to try out the new system. We'll give you a free sheet music up to $3.99 if you use promo code Easy Download. So check it out because that's uh, only available for what well, was yesterday and uh, the rest of today. This song has that classic rock shuffle feel, except that instead of on the hi-hat, we're going to play that on the low tom. And then we've got a four on the floor. Which just means four on the floor. One, two, three, four. This is in 12-8, so if you want to be technical... You would count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is kind of difficult to do. So a lot of times in 12, 8, we just count it as triplets. 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 in 4-4 four, four time, that is. 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a... Well, we count them as if it's 4-4 four, four time. You get it. So at the end of measure 113, there's a flam. And I like to play that as a left-handed flam, which means your right stick is going to be the grace note and your left is hitting harder. That's just because... My right's already over here on what I'll call four. And if I had to come back with the left real quickly to hit it low, uh, it's just easier the other way. Left-handed flam. Then you're going to see a squiggly line. And this is the first time that uh, we used a squiggly line in the sheet music. Well, I say we, but it was Steve Lee. Um, and the reason for that is... With the sheet music in the store, we try to make it as usable as possible. Uh, written out completely would be, uh, you know, it would four, five, six pages. It doesn't really fit on the music stand. So that squiggly line, play six, just means to play that groove six times. So at 113, now I'm going to play six, two, three, four. And then you go on. Measure 120 has a little fill at the end. And if we're counting it as 4-4, four, four, it would be on the 4-a. Uh. 1, a 2, a 3, a 4-a. Uh. Got to get that stick up there quickly because you're coming from another a uh, with the right. Uh, I missed it. 4-a. Uh. And then there's a repeat sign. You would repeat that whole line and then go on to measure 121. 121 is just 1, 2. If you have two low toms or four toms set up, use your lowest two. Well, even if you have three, use your lowest two. Two, three, four. So 120 into 121 would be like this. One, two, three, four. Right there is a lead into this fill. And I really like this fill. It's one of the reasons we picked this section. And uh, two, and two. And I do all those as right-handed flams. I mean, if we were in a traditional marching setup, you know, you go back and forth between right and left, but it, it doesn't look as cool uh, as just hitting right-handed. And on that third set of eighth notes there, you'll see that there's a flam across the high tom and the low tom. It's the same as a flam on the snare. Now you're just spreading it out for two toms. And the two I come back with the right stick for four and a, four and a, hit the crash with the left. I'm going to put this whole thing together for you, and I'll play it slowly. And where it says play six, I'm actually going to play three and then go on.
I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson and have fun messing around with the 12 8 and the fills. Check back Wednesday on OnlineDrummer.com for a lesson from Patrick Marsapoil, and then Thursday, Alex Ribchester. Keep drumming. <laughs>